Here's a quick reminder of how we solve exponential equations. I'm going to show you two examples. We'll start with a basic one, and in both cases we're using base e. Say we started out with the equation of the form e to the x equals 15. To solve an equation that's in the form of having the exponential part by itself, and remember here e is a number that we know what it is, it's about 2.718, it's irrational, its values go on forever, but we know its value. So if we get something where we have the exponential part on one side of the equation and just a number on the other, then to solve I can just convert to my logarithmic form. So I'm going to go ahead and write the equivalent logarithmic ex expression. So that would be that natural logarithm ln of, we take the number that was on the outside before and now that's our input into the logarithm equals x. Remember that the exponent always becomes the output of a logarithm. So that's a really basic example. But let's say instead we had something with more pieces to it. For instance, 3 e to the 5x plus 1 equals 99. To solve this equation, I have more work to do because the exponential part is not by itself. But when I'm looking at solving an equation like this, the thought that runs through my head still is let's highlight that exponential part and sort of treat it like the variable as our first step. So we want to isolate it on its own side of the equation. So to do that, I'm going to use the operation that will allow me to get the exponential term by itself. I notice currently that there's this 3 written in front of the e raised to the 5x plus 1. So in order to solve this problem, the first thing I'm going to do is because I have that 3 multiplied there, I'm going to use the inverse operation of multiplication. So I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 3. Now really I'm dividing the whole equation by 3 here on both sides. On the left, that 3 divided by 3 leaves me with my e to the 5x plus 1. And on the right side of the equation, 99 divided by 3 is 33. So now notice I do have an exponential term by itself. Because it's by itself, my next thing to access the exponent, my only choice, is to convert to that logarithmic form. So I often say we're logging it. So I'm going to take e to the 5x plus 1 equals 33, and I remember that the 5x plus 1, that's my exponent. So that becomes the right-hand side of my equation, or the thing that's equal to. It's hard to see. We're just going to go ahead and leave it in blue. And then on the other side of the equation, we're going to take the logarithm, the natural logarithm, that's right, I'm writing ln, that's the one for base e, of 33. So just keep in mind, if e to the x equals y, then we know that the natural logarithm of y equals x. So last but not least, now that I have something in this form, I want you to recognize that the natural logarithm of 33 is a number. It's a number I can calculate on my calculator using the ln key. But here's the thing. Oftentimes, um, we don't have ourselves saving enough decimal places. So when I convert over this logarithmic form, let yourself carry it around just like it was the square root of something or like it was a number you knew. Just keep that expression. I Now that I have the x's just on one side of the equation, sort of in a linear expression, my next move is to try to get x by itself. So I notice that right now x is not by itself. It is trapped up 
multiplied by five and then has one added to it. So my next action is gonna to be to try to get the five X isolated. I can do that by subtracting one from both sides. So I have the natural logarithm of 33 from which I've subtracted one. These parentheses here help me remember that I'm only plugging um, the 33 into the natural logarithm and that would have been equal to 5x. And now to get x by itself, I divide by 5. So at the end of the day, x equals the natural logarithm of 33 minus 1, all divided by 5. And that's a calculation I can run on a calculator. You can see it says ln 33, and then I'm going to subtract 1, and divide by 5. So I'm getting this exponent of x is about 0 0.499. I really should keep more decimal places than that. What were the others? 302. Okay. I can check my answer as well. To check my answer, I can substitute this estimate value I'm getting here into my original equation. So I can see does 3 times e raised to the 5 times 0 0.499, 302 plus 1, does that equal 99? 